Hello everyone, welcome back to landscaping business. Today guys, we've been rained out. This morning guys, it rained for about 4 hours here. Now it's cloudy and the rain's gonna be back within the next few hours. This morning I spent my time in the home office sending out all the bills for the weekly lawn care and some of the landscaping projects and I gave the guys a day off from work. So today guys, I thought, hey, why don't I bring the cam along as I run some errands, give some bids, and just do some miscellaneous things here with the business. Let's hop here in the Ford F-550. We actually have to head over to Tractor Supply to pick up an online order. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below, and if you do end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button. It is much appreciated. Every once in a while, having a rain day does come in pretty handy here. I did get behind on sending out the bills. We have been just working so much. Uh, we've been working into the evening every single night, uh, just taking on so many projects here. But I do have an online order for two wheelbarrows and a fertilizer spreader. I ordered it two, three days ago, and I got a notification a few hours ago that it was ready for pickup here. So I think... If we come around to this side here, they should have it right out front. Oh yeah, perfect. I just have to find the uh, manager to get signed off and we'll get these loaded up. <laughs> All right, we got all three things loaded up here. I did put a strap on it so we don't end up losing it going down the roadway, but one of the wheelbarrows guys that we previously had, I think got damaged when uh, someone was trying to load it with a skid loader bucket. And the other one guys, I think we left at a job site and uh, we just needed a few new ones here. So that's a-okay. And I do want to get into some more fertilizing here. I think that's a big part of business we could grow. And I do have all the certifications for that as well. But let's get on back to the shop. I actually have so many things to do. I have to sharpen the blades, uh, clean the oil, uh, I have so many things to do at the shop. I have to sharpen the blades on all the zero turns, and I also have to clean the air filters in the mowers and the skid steers and in the mini excavator because, guys, there's been a lot of dust and uh, just a lot of debris uh, working on quite a few different job sites here, and we need to make sure everything's kept up as well as making sure the equipment is greased and just up and running. So far, I'm really liking the new landscaping shop here. It's been pretty awesome to move on over to uh, the uh, Elk Mountain Wyoming map here. I've been really enjoying it, and you guys seem to be liking these videos as well. So I think for now, we'll leave those here in the truck. Uh, but uh, one thing I noticed here, oh boy, guys, our old Ford truck definitely needs a little bit of work. It is leaking oil all over the asphalt here. That is not good. Our uh, concrete pad. I definitely needs uh, some work here. So let me uh, uh, make a quick call, see if we get the truck dropped off, and uh, maybe get it fixed here today because we need this for later on this week. So the local mechanic said he'll take a look at it here within the next hour. So he said to drop it off here. So that's what we're going to do. We need this truck and I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully it's a, just a simple fix here, but uh, I'm not really too sure. Uh, hopefully uh, the differentials and everything is A-OK -okay there. But sometimes things happen and you just have to be uh, prepared and uh, be ready uh, to fix it. Once we get this dropped off, guys, we actually have to find a ride on over to the dealership because I bought a new work truck, which I'm pretty excited for here, but it's here at the mechanic. I'm just going to leave the key in the ignition. He'll get it working, but let's get on over and pick up the new truck. The paperwork's done, guys. The truck is mine. So you guys might be asking, Square, well, what did you buy? I needed another work truck here, mainly for the landscaping side of the business, towing trailers, and uh, uh, we really needed another truck here. So I ordered this here from a Ford dealership. This is a 2022 Ford F350. It's the XLT with that 6.7 liter power stroke. I go with the diesel for snow plowing, and you guys can see it's a regular cab bed. 
I'm just a huge fan of the regular cab long bed. It's just a perfect work truck. It's a little bit cheaper and it is much easier to maneuver here. Now they did throw in a hitch here along with a gooseneck hitch here for us as well. We got the bed liner. I mean this truck guys has everything we need along with an extra feature which I'm very excited uh, to show you guys. We'll get the truck turned on here, but look at that, guys. we got full strobes on this truck, which I'm really excited for. That's going to be perfect for snow plowing and uh, when we need to back trailers in on busy roads, things like that. I mean, guys, this truck I've been waiting for for quite some time. This was back in FS19, uh, a, a, a similar version, and now it's in FS22. This looks to be uh, really well put together. I'm really excited to have it here in FS22. A work truck like this, guys, is a lot of money, but you have to keep reinvesting into the business and you have to keep on growing it. And this was something that needed to be done here because it kind of felt like we were shorthanded not having a truck here, especially when the lawn care side of business needed the extra Cummins there. But actually, guys, before we could do some shop work here, we need to get a utility trailer here because I bought a compactor and we need to go pick it up at the dealer. Let me know down below in the comments if you do have any cool video ideas here for me. I really do like using your feedback here. It's much appreciated. And I will say, guys, this F-250 I think is probably one of my top uh, uh, favorite uh, mods here in Farming Simulator. I just really do like it. But along with the compactor, I actually ordered an attachment for the Vermeer Post Hole Digger, which will help us out uh, for actually an upcoming fence job we'll be doing. And they have them right out front here for us. Perfect. I mean, the dealerships really do a good job taking care of me. We have a really good relationship with them. I order all the parts, things like that. So you guys can see we got the compactor here. Now, I decided not to go with the play compactor to go with this. This does provide a better compaction here. And we do have that uh, there as well. But I do want to go around to the other side and check out the equipment they have. Looks like they're pretty short on inventory here, but they do have a Kubota out front here, a 72 inch deck. Whoa, I'm actually looking for another uh, zero turn here, a big one. This is a Kubota uh, F3060. This is definitely something I'll have to read some reviews and take a look at here. Why don't we hop on it? A, oh, wow, it has a steering wheel here. That is pretty unique. Usually, you have the two controls there for the zero turns, but the other one that has really caught my eye here is this case. It looks to be the CX245. Wow, guys, this thing is pretty sweet here. Let's see if it's unlocked. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I think we might just have to look into this. I'll talk with the salesman and see what the pricing is on this. See if we could uh, buy this here. We have some excavation jobs, swimming pools, things like that. And we need a bigger machine. But hey, we need to not get too carried away. So let's get these loaded up and we'll get on back to the shop. Everything's loaded, everything's all strapped down. Now, you guys might be asking, Square, how do you control a, a compactor? Well, it is actually remote controlled there, which is pretty sweet. Definitely helps us out. And that is also a pretty good safety thing here. And good comfort of the worker not having uh, to uh, kind of control it there. And uh, I could be less hands on with it with just a remote control here. But let's get on back to the shop. I need to get to work sharpening all those blades. I mean, we have five, six lawnmowers. That's going to be about an hour's worth of work. Running all those errands, guys, definitely takes some time here, but we actually have to hop on out. We really quickly have to go give a quote, so I think I will bring you guys along for that, and then we'll call it a day. All right, the landscaping quote I have to give here is for Weekly Lawn uh, Care. I believe they saw our company uh, mowing at a property down the road from them, which is great to see. And I always try to ask, hey, where do you find our company? That way uh, we get a better idea here. It's a little bit easier for us, and it helps us on out here. But it is actually this one here. Oh, yeah, this is easily a $45, $50 yard here. But, guys, I have one more to do, and I'll catch you guys later on. 
on. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a pretty fun one. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.